Hey, good afternoon everyone. Now, I understand that there is no visual. Well, that was made on purpose because I don't want my face to be what people see for the characters. Because this is a cartoon that I am working on. I do not have the visuals, as in like the images, but I will visualize and say what's happening the best to my ability. So, you know, for those of you who remember, I did a little intro to some characters now. So, the story starts off with a rat. He's got a bent up nose. And he's walking. His name is Norville. Now, I may be a dirty rat, but you should believe me when I say this. I hope you enjoy the story. So, the next scene goes into uh, an image of his cousin, which is the main character, named Miles. Because I like the name Miles, and I couldn't think of another name. He's a mouse. He's in his bed, and then... The telephone rings, and he jumps out of his bed. Then he lands in his chair. He gets up, walks, step, 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 etc. Over to answer it, answer it. Then picks up the telephone. Hello? He says nervously. Norville. Hey, cousin. Let's meet up for breakfast. I have a job opportunity for you. He's talking from, I would presume, a phone booth. Or, and just for a side note, this is taking place in around 1920s or so. In that era of New York City. Back to the story itself. Miles. Okay. But this better not be like last time. There's a flashback of this bad tasting non-alcoholic beverage. And he spat it back out. Norville. No, I swear on our mother's grave. Miles. Okay, fine. Norville. See you soon. He hangs up. Clonk. Or however that would sound. Anyways, with that, Miles got dressed. Then he hears. He looks out the window and sees his cousin Norville in a car that's small because it's for a rat and it's kind of beaten up. For obvious reasons. Then Miles leaves his house and locks his door. Then he gets in the passenger seats. Norville. So, how's it going? Miles. Could you please just drive? Norville. Hey, why so glum, chum? Miles. 
Do you not remember the last few ideas you had or were told about? No, um, the bad beverage that I mentioned. Whisker jewelry, which was actually... Their shortened whiskers turned into jewelry for cats. And car maintenance. So this is a nod to Industrial Revolution. Where small children would go into gears with their small hands. So essentially they were stuffed into cars. And supposed to crawl around and fix the problem like that. And it was awful. So Norville says... Why? Clearly scarred, but just wants to keep his position. Miles, I just am having trouble in believing in this idea. Norval, okay. How about I tell you the idea when we get there? Sorry, I should have mentioned. But could you please bring your flutes? Miles. Fine. I'm not even going to ask. He left the car. Sound a car door closing. Then got back to his house and grabbed his flute. Then left his place and got back in the car. He obviously locked it. Whatever. Then Norval drives to a diner. They both enter... And get seated, then they both order water, because water is cheap, because water doesn't cost anything. <laughs> Norville. So, basically, I got you a gig as a performer at a jazz club called The Cat's Pajamas. Miles. I'm not even going to ask how you hooked that up. Norville. That's probably for the best. Then the waitress comes. Comes back with the water. Waitress, she's a calico. So a black cat with some, you know, with her paws being white as snow. And green eyes. Standard kind of calico y color. White tufts. A fur on her tail. The tip, I mean. And I'm just gonna read in my own voice, because I don't wanna have it get confused with Norville. Waitress, hey, what can I get for the two of you this morning? Norville. We'll have two, holds up two fingers, orders of the number three. Waitress. Okay. She wrote it down and left. Norville watched her walk away. Miles. You do realize she could cut you so easily, right? Norville. Don't worry, I'm just watching. Miles. Okay, then. It chats some more, then the food shows up, she leaves again. They eat and it was delicious. That's how I say it because of an episode of Spongebob Squarepants. Anyways. Later the waitress shows up. Waitress, anything else or do you want the check? Question mark. Didn't have to say question mark. Miles. Just the check please. Waitress, okay. She writes something down. Miles. I'll get it. He gets cash, but... And hands it to her. Waitress. Have a nice day. Winks at Miles. Miles. Thanks. You too. Norville. Talk to you later. She walks off with a look of disgust. With that, they leave and Norville drives them over to Cat's Pajamas. They soon get there. He parks his car and they both get to the front entrance. Bulldog, what are you doing here, Norville? 
You know as well as I that you are not allowed to set so much as a whisker into this establishment. Norville. I know that, Frank. Frank. You're not going to trick me this time. Norville. Who said anything about Miles? Don't even try to deny it. Frank. See, even he knows it. Miles, he is my cousin after all. Well, there you go. Wait, are you by chance? Miles, yes, I am. Frank, oh, right this way. He goes in and Norville was about to go in but was pushed aside by a lovely brownish red cat. Feline. Again, in my normal voice. Out of my way, vermin. He had his hand up, but did not get a single solitary syllable in. Should I say that five times fast? Then a gray cat walks past him. I'm sorry. She doesn't have time for rats. He enters the building in a hurry, following feline. Miles has already started playing his flute, feline. Her ears perked up and her pupils dilate. Who is playing that lovely tune? Cat with clipboard. Yeah, let's see. His name is Miles. Miles. She started purring. Soon... His performance ended and he put his flute away and goes to leave when he gets blocked by hey, hey I own this club how would you like to work here as a musician miles I would love that feline so where can you start miles tonight feline per perfect <laughs> no, you know you know like how catwoman does it that made him chuckle and she gave him a smile. Miles, what time? Feline, 7 p.m. Shows the claws. Shing! The sound like cartoon claw sound makes. Sharp. Miles, I got it. See you then. Perfect. He chuckled and left. Norval's waiting by his car. Norval, so, did you make the whiskers twitch? Miles, I got the gig. Norval, and that's what matters. With that, they get in the car, and he drives Miles home. Leaving one enticed cat. So, that's what I got for you today, folks. So, until next time, super take care now. Bye-bye then.